<laughs> gang, gang. Buzz, buzz. Back off my broccolini. Get your life together. It is. Don't touch me, bro. I'm not touching you, dude. <laughs> Dude, you definitely, bro. No, bro. What's up, bro? Get away from me, dude. You look dude. tired. I do? Yeah. Did That's you, how I did look. Did you run here from New Orleans? No, I didn't run here. Oh, I thought you did. Dude, you're crazy, man. Have you ever been around yourself? Mm, not a ton. Dude, you should get one of those. You should get a mirror that's real clear and fucking You need realize. to get better friends. And what's going on? Whoever dresses you in the morning, you need better friends. Yeah, I dressed myself. I set this out last night. No. Yeah. Dude, what were you doing in New Orleans? But what are you? Uh, I was hanging out with family. Oh, I saw Dustin Poirier, dude. Let me hold the strap. God, get off his nuts! <laughs> nuts. Oh my God, Bro, Dustin, no. I apologize, man. He doesn't have any nuts. Dude. He got his nuts dude, taken out. All of a sudden, he wins the belt. Oh my God, we're from the same oh state. God, we're happened? from the same fucking country. God, same dude. Country, God, damn, get off his nuts! I apologize, Dustin. Like you this know, guy. This like you, guy, like you know what he's been I, fighting for ninety <laughs> years. All of a sudden, you're on his dick hole, dude. He fought Bill Clinton early in his career, bro. Dustin's fought in everybody. And first of all, we are from the same country, bro. Yeah, that's, I that's know, so ridiculous. dude. First of all, you're the guy who dressed like the, one of the dudes that Michael Jackson molested, Wade <laughs> Robson, today. Dude, okay, no, I dressed like I'm like I'm at Kanye West's gospel meetings <laughs> on Sunday <laughs> when I walked in. I was like, ah, fuck. Bro, you look like Coach Ella, bro. Dude, you look like you, just, you <laughs> bro. You look like you coach a freaking one of the weakest wrestling teams in fucking in Beverly Hills. Huh? I'm Coach Ella. Dude, you look like Billy Ray Cyrus's agent. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I look like Billy Ray Cyrus's yard guy. <laughs> You look like his landscape. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. Bro, you look, you gotta get a good look at yourself, man. Dude, you need better friends. You're just like, nah, that ain't it, bro. That ain't it, man. You can't dress like a character. Bro, bro, dude, are you kidding me? Dude. You look like a referee at Hot Topic, bro. That's how you're dressed right now. Bro, you look you, like you the look head like... referee, the line judge at Hot Topic, dude. Dude, you look like security for Toys R Us. <laughs> I look like security for a yard sale. You look Not horrible. Really. You dress like the type of dude that root, roots for the fucking White Walkers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Game of Thrones okay. reference. Game of Thrones. I'll go with if that, you don't know. Dude. You have no idea what Game of Thrones is. Yeah, I do, man. I've been to Game of Thrones. It's a place where they sell toiletry. toilets, isn't it? Correct. Also, formerly known as Spencer's. Yeah. Dude, I remember going to Spencer's and stealing a bunch of shit from there, dude. Who didn't steal from Spencer's? Who didn't, bro? And what about our idea that they, we still haven't made yet lava lamps that have semen in them? Oh, you busting them. And you can ejaculate into the lamp and contribute to the beauty of your own environment. And that I'm talking about praise God. It's kind of like a Chia Pet yeah. full of cum. Well, you don't have to say cum, bro. You could say semen. You could say skeet. You could say something less. Skeet? Yeah, you could you say something. skeet's less harsh? <laughs> yeah, bro. Skeet? Then cum. That's a little what is John. <laughs> I'm sorry. What, did you grow up with little John as your teacher? Okay. Skeet? First of all, I'm going to shock the world right now. Can we get a picture up of little John when he, without his sunglasses? Oh, man. Oh. He is an ugly looking character. He's not ugly, bro. He has a very unique style in his eyes. I would say that. <laughs> Oh, does he have crazy eyes? Huh? Does, does he have uh, the chameleon? No, he's just got that built-in crossing guard back behind his nose somewhere. Dude, he's that wildcat. But you got to love him, man. It's little John. And it just goes to show you, man, you got to trust. No, it's the one of the tuxedo. Go up, man. Look, it's a, it's a yearbook one right there. <laughs> oh, shit. That is not <laughs> that ain't him. That's not him. That's little John. No, it's not. Yeah, it is, bro. On the okay. left. <laughs> yeah. All them teachers get... Dude, he, yeah, yeah. He was taking a, he was getting an eye exam, and the guy was like, "Okay, what's on that line?" And he's like, "What? <laughs> what? Yeah, no, okay. <laughs> oh god, one or two? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude. And the problem is, a lot of kids learn. They, that's how they, you know, answer on tests and stuff. It's very sad. It's a problem. But hey, dude, I was down in his eyes. Yeah, man. He can see from here. What well, one of his eyes was his, but he was it was a birth eye, and then the other one I think was donated at he, some point. Oh, he bought it. Was a, oh, that makes sense. Yeah, he got that uh because he has one birth eye, I know that. And then he has one uh, <laughs> one that came Dude, in. Dude, how was New Orleans? Huh? How was New Orleans? Uh, it was good, man. What did we do? A lot, eating a lot of food. You just went down there for the holiday, Easter? Went there for the Easter. Is your family religious? Mm, yeah, we went to church. I mean, we had a, we had a little bit you of religion. You went to church? Oh, yeah. They let you in? Looking for the Lord, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. 
Did Dude, you just stay outside and put your ear to the door? No joke. During the service, uh, the somebody was singing on the stage, you know, and they always have that drummer that's like behind the the, the oh, plastic. Oh no, yeah. Like what is going on? He's behind like the plastic wall. Like someone's gonna try and assassinate him or some <laughs> yeah, shit. Dude, yeah. Like what? Take the it fuck, easy. Bro. Like he's the president. Yeah. There's that weird glass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That weird glass. He's important, bro. The church drummer yeah. though. It's too much though. It's too much. Um, did you start? Did you stand up the, and go? I don't like men's anymore. <laughs> I don't like men in them all. Sometimes that spirit it gets you, man. Oh, yeah. It gets me. Yeah. The spirit wild, man. The spirit wild. And he, uh, but no, he gave a buzz buzz out from the stage. Which, <laughs> I think I'm the only one that caught the reference, you know? <laughs> Just buzz. Y'all, oh, all right, like, we are place. in his arms. We are in his arms. Buzz, buzz. <laughs> buzz, buzz. <laughs> dude, how awkward is it when I haven't been in church in forever, but I remember I was embarrassed. Obviously, I dude. I didn't, I didn't know you any like of the music. You look like Satan's little fucking, you dress like Satan's little fucking crack pipe. Bro, you look like <laughs> you, look like you look went like... there and, and handed out Scientology books. Oh, you you're look, still fucking. You look like you're giving discounts on Scientology books, dude. I I look like a guy who knows how to bag leaves. You know what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> dude, but did you know any of the songs? Did you know any of the songs? Um, oh yeah, yeah I knew some of the songs. Do you really? Well, they put the words up there in like seven thousand fonts. Oh, you up went on to the screen. You went to a fancy one. It was yeah. This church, it's pretty. It's pretty fancy. It's right on the LSU campus. I don't know what it's called. Oh but. wow, no, I've never been. But we had fun, dude. The pastor named Kevin. He's real chill, bro. Big Kev. <laughs> Touching kids and shit still? Or what? No, 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 no. He has kids of his own, so at that point. I mean, you could touch your own. He's not doing anything like that, though. He's on the You never up. know. Louisiana, Christian. Louisiana? What are you talking about, dude? They got it That's down That's what you guys pat, do. Bro. Crawl dads, football, molest kids. <laughs> that's that's what I think. Florida. Oh, dude. Dude, I, that's here. Dude, no, that's not here. It's not that's Cali. That's Hollywood. No, Hollywood. What are you talking about? There's some guy across town pro probably having his son for lunch. <laughs> Bro, this place, Hollywood's the shadiest, dude. What, hey, what did Bunch you of gay men's up there in the hills. Gay fucking, men's. Oh, and they're buying straight children off the internet and eating them. Right, movies and shit. It's crazy out here. It's the dark arts. What, how was your boy Dustin Poirier the diamond looking? The diamond was doing good, bro. He actually, he was eating donuts, I will say that. He so, should be. I don't know if, you know, I don't know how that could affect his future. You know who's not eating donuts? Who? Khabib. Oh, bro. First of all, they don't have donuts in Khabib's country, okay? They eat semen. You might they be eat right. quick crete for breakfast. They fucking eat they eat concrete. That's oh. all he fucking eats. Well, eat. dude, they're probably over there using steroids, as we call them, brother. The steroids? I mean, they're do you so think they're using it over there? They're so hairy. Look how much Khabib's he... not, but they're they're definitely they're the ones that started it. His yeah. whole chin has turned into an armpit. Have you seen Khabib? I have. Yeah, it's insane. Trouble. But dude, he did let me pick up the strap before he did, and I fucking dropped it, bro. It's heavy, dude. It's heavy. Jesus. Now, which belt is better? The Find the Kid Guest of the Year or that belt? Well, first of all, he actually said, bro, why didn't you bring your belt? And I said, because those fucking creeps haven't given it to me well, it's yet. it's in the studio. Walk by every day. You could just <laughs> yeah. stop in. Yeah, it, let me know when it's in. Man, well, it's in, bro. Okay. I touched you months ago. Okay. Well, Santino got his award. Oh, did he? Yeah, Rookie of the Year. Oh, God. Looks like the goddamn Oscar. The Red Adam Ray. That's what they call that guy, dude. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, bro. That fucking whiskey ginger. That guy's an alcoholic, dude. That guy I'll die in a drunk driving accident any day now. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, come by and get it. Should we start this? This motherfucker. Hey, we got uh, King and Sting merch dropping Friday. About Friday, time. Friday, Friday. Only took six months, dude. Well, I had to hand make it, bro. Yeah, really? I had to do it all myself. Oh, what do you wow. think I've been doing, man? I leave here, print shirts. That's a great question, actually. Really? That's awesome, man. Yeah, dude. No, you got look, jerseys. I've seen the Don't jerseys. Touch Me tees. I've and then that. regular King of the Sting tees. Well, look, send some of those Don't Touch Me tees down to Florida for children, dude, because a lot of pedophiles down there and also up here in East Hollywood Hills. Oh, and the website's kingthesting.com. Yeah. Some mutant bought the King and the Sting. Really? Yeah. So we got kingthesting.com. What? Yeah, man. You mean King and the Sting? Kingthesting.com. But why didn't someone get King and the Sting? Yeah, so I just told you. Some dude bought it way before us. Some Who? Mut some mutant, and we we found where he's at. He's in Australia. Nuh-uh. Yeah. And he won't give it up? Won't give it up, and then when you click on it, it goes to other comics websites. No way. King some hater. The Sting. Dot com. Kingthesting.com. Unbelievable. Not surprised that you fucking left a word out of a sentence, bro. Tell you what, bro. Unbelievable, Brendan.
All right, let's get into this let's shit, dude, because I can barely even stand being here. You didn't even bring me a coffee this morning. I had to make one. <laughs> it's what make up, coffee, boys? bro. And how about we poured that cream in the refrigerator? Oh. This, this fuck oh. used pea cream. Like the vegetable pea, and it was all clumpy. Oh. Ugh. It makes me sick. Oh, it was so gross, dude. Imagine you're ready to see cream. Bro. Quit creaming things, first of all, these motherfuckers out here in Hollywood, bro. Just use the nut milk, bro. Bro, if you, you want look, me a nut in your milk? No, I don't. <laughs> but at some point, it's a lot of these pedophiles out here. If you want to fucking drink something out of a child, drink it out of a fucking child. Quit getting all these young fucking vegetables. It says on there, like, young eggplant milk. And you're like, what the fuck is going on, Do bro? You ever had Parmesan cheese milk? Huh? It's too <laughs> many. It's too much. <laughs> it's too much. It's fucking it too just much. has to stop. But dude, I turned the pea milk over, and oh, it had dude. a huge clump of something came off the edge. Oh, it was really. so disturbing. Two inches round, bro. Oh, I mean a straight Someone nut, shit in bro. Cream. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like a damn nut off of a damn uh, maybe a dolphin or something. Something. Support the podcast. Here's an ad. Hey, deal, man. When you need red wine at 4 p.m. or sushi at 9 p.m. or maybe you need a wet burrito at 8 a.m. <laughs> whatever you need, bro. Postmates it. Postmates it, dude, dude. I got. I actually got Postmates last night, and I don't usually get Postmates, but sometimes I do. Isn't it nice, like a little assistant? Oh, Ooh, I'm hungry. Boop, comes yeah. right to your door. I was starving last night, and I was like, oh, who would bring me over something? I look at the app. They got a man on a magical bicycle, and boom. You don't have to rely on a friend anymore. Next thing you know, sushi in my mouth at 11 p.m. Dude, what's up, bro? 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Sushi's not keto, but we'll figure it out. Postmates will bring you whatever you need within an hour. No more trips to the store. You don't even need to know where the store is at. Postmates will do it all for you. And this is perfect for a guy like Brennan because Brennan would get lost doing anything. Um, and sashimi's keto, though, isn't it? Uh, kind of, man. It's fish. If it's just fish. That's if that's it. all you're eating is fish. Just fish. Then you're good. Yeah. You look like you eat just fish and carrots. Really? Yeah, you got a great body. Dude, I ordered a batch of minnows right out of that guy that sent in that video. You look like you just eat eel. All what right. I want to know is 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, you can get Postmates. Is that right? That's right, dude. And for a limited time, Postmates is giving the King Sing listeners $100 of free delivery. That's a lot. To start your free deliveries, download the app, obviously, and use the code CATS, K-A-T-S, 2019. Yep, that's K-A-T-S, 2019. K-A-T-S-2019 for $100 for free delivery credit for your first seven days. Dang. Anything you need, anytime you need it, Postmates it. Download Postmates and save with the code CATS2019. Yep. Support the podcast, K-A-T-S-2019. Thank you. Trying to keep the lights on. Well, I'll say this. Robinhood is an investing app that lets you buy and sell stocks, ETFs, options, and cryptos, all commission-free. True that, man. While other brokerages can charge up to $10 for every trade, <laughs> Robinhood doesn't charge any commission fees, so you can trade stocks and keep all of your profits. Keep it all! Plus, there is no account minimum deposit needed to get started, so you can start investing at any level, you what? little wimp. What? The simple design of Robinhood makes it so easy to invest for newcomers and experts alike. Tell them, boy! View easy to understand charts and market data and place trade in just four taps for your smartphone. On your smartphone! Yeah, yeah! You can also view stock collections such as 100 Most Popular. Yep, with Robinhood, you can learn how to invest in the market as you build your portfolio. Discover new stocks, track your favorite companies, and get custom notifications for price movements so you never miss the right moment to... Invest. Invest. Robinhood has given the listeners of King and the Sting a free stock like Apple, Ford, or Sprint. Get Ever that free hitter. What up? To help you build your portfolio right now, sign up at kingsting.robinhood.com. That's kingsting.robinhood.com. Someone's got to pay for Brennan's coffee habit. We're going to start it off with the bait club today. Our and we got, we got Derek in here today, Derek Post. We got Derek. What up, we boys? got Kat. It's, we, dude, we're... That's true. We, we love everybody, that. you know? Very, uh... <laughs> we love everybody. And they actually have a very similar skin tone, Derek and Kat. Oh, wow. You think? I don't. A little bit. <laughs> oh, I don't. Wow. I okay. think it's beautiful, yeah. Mm. Thank mm. you, Theo. Yeah, you're welcome, brother. 
Appreciate it. Well, we're going to start You're with... You're welcome, man. I'm fresh from church, so... <laughs> yeah, you okay. seem nicer. I do. I got the feeling in me, dude. Hey, Thanks. Seuss, you got that Hey, Seuss drip. Thanks, Wade Robson, dude, that <laughs> obviously got molested by Michael Jackson and then did a and bunch of... sued him. Yeah, did a bunch of steroids to try to act like he didn't. <laughs> bro, you look like Wade Robson and Carrot Top had a fucking kid, bro. You are jacked, bro. Dude, you look like Billy Ray Cyrus and fucking Amanda Bynes had a child. Oh, whatever, dude. Just fat First... shit crazy with a fucking... With a mole. It. Bro, let's be honest though, and this is a this may be a cry for help, or I don't know how you cry for help at someone who may need it. But uh let's just admit that Pete Davidson is turning into the tall Amanda Bynes. Can we do that? <laughs> I, I like Pete. I don't want to know this. Wait, I like Pete too. I like let's Pete. also not discredit the fact that someone could be having mental health issues. He I might. don't want to be the person that doesn't reach out to somebody. I'm serious, man. I reached out to him. And what'd he say? Nothing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Sometimes. So yeah, you hey, guys are fucking tight, right? I'm not your guru. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not your guru. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but I'm, I'm not taking life advice from Theo. Yeah. Lindsay Lohan did. Look how she turned out. Yeah. First of all, I did slip a note under her door. We stayed in the same hotel like 13 years ago. Oh, you're trying to fuck. Oh, yeah. And Dude, I was like, hey, I'm a nice years guy. Ago, don't fucking touch me. 13 years ago, though, she you. was banging before she got all crazy and skinny. Yeah. Okay. She had them big tits. And right now, Pete Davidson's banging, bro. You know what I'm saying? He's tall. Kate Beckinsale, bro. Yeah, bro. Kate Beckinsale's banged all of our young friends, first of all. <laughs> well, yeah, cool. There's no problem with it. I agree. I like her. Oh, I think that she's hot. I also Before think that, she's collecting Grande. children, bro. I'm just saying he's turning into the tall Amanda Bynes. When does it end? <sighs> well, Amanda Bynes got her shit together. Her right. Grew her hair back out. She's at a Took 11 institute. years. Took 11 years. Had to get out of the business. Took 11 years, man. I mean, look, I love Pete Davidson, but I just wonder, is he still doing comedy at this point, or what is he doing? He does. He's doing movies now with Judd Apatow. Well, and I would know because I saying, just auditioned for Is him. he still doing comedy, though, is what I want to yeah, know. He does stand up. You know, I'm not talking about civil rights with Judd <laughs> Apatow, okay? Yeah, I'm talking about comedy. I, I anyway, you. I just hope that Pete's okay. I want to let him know that I, that I do wonder if he's okay or not, because... A lot of it seems like a cry for help for me somehow. Agree. You know? He was dyeing his hair different colors for a while. Remember that? He was Ariana Grande's mood ring. You know what I'm saying? You could tell how she was feeling based on his hair color. It's true. And, and uh, they broke up. Yeah. And then what? Now he's dating a woman, a senior citizen almost. She's Pre-senior. bad, though. She's well, bad, though. I agree. But a pre-senior Dude, you could, citizen? You trying to start a beef with Pete? Huh? You trying to start a beef with Pete? I don't have any Pete, Pete beef. Comedy beef. Comedy beef. I don't have any Pete. I love Pete. I'm just saying I am... I am concerned. Concerned about him. Yeah, I'm concerned about his bank account because he's killing <laughs> yeah, it. That's fine. That's fine, bro. He'll be able to afford a very nice funeral if he doesn't take <laughs> care of himself. That's what I'm saying. It's just, bro, it's scary, and it looks like he's getting into a scary place. Maybe he's not. You know, they called him. A, he was sitting on the top of a fucking scaffolding at a fucking Nine Inch Nails concert. Maybe he's doing fine. Okay, maybe he's doing okay. <laughs> that's a cry for help for me, man. And that's what if I'm you're saying, like, dude. Brendan's at a fucking train concert, hanging <laughs> yeah, on top yeah. of the bleachers. You know, it's about time for yeah, me to dude. go. Wearing you know, a Goo Goo Dolls shirt. <laughs> I'm just Brendan saying. went to Aerosmith concert the <laughs> other day, man. You should work. You went to Aerosmith concert, bro. <laughs> yeah, you idiot. Yeah. Fucking Nick shows up with the Aerosmith concert shirt on. <laughs> like there, It's like fucking 1987. It's premature Nick, bro. It's his only shirt, dude. The guy goes, shirt <laughs> Well, I'm glad you took care of him. Yeah. yeah. Oh, dude, I clothe my guys. Unlike Chin, who's in here wearing some fucking concentration camp Dude, boots. Chin's balling. Chin came in here with a fucking gold pinky ring and some yeah, new dude. boots. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? He really did, bro. Looks like Raiden from Mortal Kombat. He's, he's in got, a rap video. Oh, he's definitely got that Shawshank Redemption lift kit. That's what he's in, bro. He's got those he's new patent shiny leather boots shoes. He stole. Yeah. A pinky ring. He's fucking got the warden's music tattooed on his back. All right, let's get into this let's shit. I can't talk do to it, you anymore. Bro. God Jesus damn Christ. It. I shouldn't even got out of my Uber. Me neither. I shouldn't have fucking came. <laughs> First one from Jesse J. Rom Romano from upstate New York for Debate Club. Upstate. What's up, Brandon? What's up, Theo? Damn, Damn, Doug. Damn, Darren. What's your boy, Jesse? He's from New York. Don't mind the shower. Just got off of work. Okay. I got a Debate Club topic <laughs> okay. for you. All right. Cartoon wise, who's hotter? April O'Neil from Ninja Turtles? Or Rogue from X Men. Let me know. Buzz, buzz, gang, gang. Buzz, buzz, buzz gang. So get, get clean, bro. And sweet fucking tattoo of the Darth Vader. I respect that, man. That guy looks clean. I respect a clean young man up there in upstate New York. Hard to stay clean up there, dude. Shout they don't out have to a every- lot of soap up there. Well, shout out to everybody in recovery. <clears throat> but what I'm saying is this, man. Uh, what was it? What was he asking? April, about? Me- April. O'Neal uh-huh. from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, or Ooh. Jean Grey, which is Rogue. Now, April had some titties, but 
Fucking Rogue was that body was banging, bro. Jean Grey, bro. Here's the thing about April O'Neil. She just owned five turtles. She was a slave owner. Also, she never let none of them fuck ever. Michelangelo was always trying to fuck. No, Michelangelo was constantly trying to fuck. She always blue balled those boys. Well, who and by it? boys, I mean five grown turtles. First of all, April O'Neil all day, dude. That thing is a one piece that she's wearing, bro. That shit is hot. And she always just had that camera. She was always ready to shoot her own porn at the house, oh, bro. Or low key van porn. porn. <laughs> she was in a van by herself with a camera, dude. She's looking to fuck. She like was basically driver. an executive producer for Bang Bus. She was way before her time, dude. Dude, you April O'Neil, beautiful, hard worker, obviously had a degree. Who's this other human trap house that you got over here flying around about the Jean air? Gray? What's the other one's name? Jean Grey, bro. Also no, known as Rogue. No. She looks like Karen. Are they not, not the same character? No. Jean Grey and Rogue are two different characters? Yeah. <laughs> Don't touch my well, buzzer. I grew up different. My dad told me they were the same. So definitely Who's your April. dad, Michael Jackson, dude? Well, you're here's the, the fucking thing. Neverland. From, you're wearing the Neverland Ranch fucking workout kit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> fucking look dude, horrible, here's dude. the thing. So, that's, so Rogue and Jean Grey aren't the yeah, same person? Dude. No. Bro, it looks like you've been... Definitely meet, going with April O'Neil. Like you've been going to the gym with Tevin Campbell, dude. You got to fucking tighten up, man. Dude, you just need to get in a gym. <laughs> I am. I will buy you a gym membership. I'm trying to. My hips are hurting a lot recently, you creep. From what? I have dysplasia, you idiot. From what, bro? From f collecting hamsters? <laughs> what? The fuck, bro? Dude, I did a lot of ground and pound when I was young, man. You growing shit. up. Shit. In the mean streets of... Without streets, there were dirt roads, you idiot. The mean dirt roads. The mean dirt First roads. First of all, who's this other freaking? That's Rogue, bro. Fuck Rogue. You know what, Rogue? You know, she thought she was all fancy with the other mutants and shit for the X-Men. Fuck the X-Men. I'm fucking April O'Neil all day. I agree with you. She's down with the van to fuck. She owned five turtles. Slave owner, but whatever. Rogue, it's not slavery, dude, if they're reptiles. They're not, uh, That's not you know. true. They were, they did have personalities and they did love pizza. Well, they fought for a fucking, they rat. fought for pizza. They fought for a rat for pizza. They fought a rat. And the so, rat paid him in pizza. They're lucky That'd be anybody, a slave owner. They're lucky anybody gave a fuck about him, dude. They're turtles fighting for a rat. For dude, ninja pizza. turtles? They were turtles that knew fucking ninjutsu? Okay, it's easy to learn. <laughs> oh, wow. Ninjutsu? First of all, being an actual ninja. Obviously inspired you. You're the rat king from yeah. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> oh, no. That's Bring not up the I'm... rat king, Derek, for me. <laughs> Bring him up. That's where this all originated from. That's where the Rat King came from. I know where I You're came just missing from, the you iPads, creep. Bro. Jesus Christ, I can't even believe someone let you get a GED. Dude, that's Splinter, and he's hard as fuck in the Yeah, that's Splinter, so Derek's fucking about to get laid off. <laughs> what I'm saying is this, bro. Dude, Did you, you know, type in Rat King? You try, look. Oh, no, Rat King. If you type in Rat Ninja Turtles, of course you're going That's a Rat splinter, King right bro. there. It's a group of rats that, that band together to survive. That's exactly what it is. But let me get into this other person. Rogue or whatever this lady's name, Trap House fucking uh, Rhonda, whatever this lady's name is. She's a thought, is. bro. She's a, a, an afterthought for me, dude. She, she looks, looks like, like an IG model. She looks like Carrot Top with fucking freezer burn, bro. This bitch looks... Uh, she looks crusted out, dude. And what she is, she, is it, what is she wearing? Is that an outfit? Is that paint? April's old school. She's classy, bro. She has a job. She goes back to her apartment. This other bitch is fucking probably, looks like she sleeps in the freezer section at Ralph's, bro. Bro, but that she also looks like, she, you remember, she lives in a fucking house, the X-Men house with Professor X doing God knows what. That's true. And there's six other dudes around all the time. <laughs> you don't think she's going to fucking train ran on by the other mutants? Oh, you don't, don't think, think like Beast that. was fucking doing work? Don't think like you that, never, dude. Then You're you gross. don't know the X-Men, bro. You think you hang around with a guy named the Beast and Wolverine and no one's getting dicked down in that house? Oh. Yeah, dude. And the turtles were respectful, you know? They yeah. had their shit together. They lived by the samurai. So I'm going with April O'Neil. I'm going with April O'Neil. First of all, it's easy to be a ninja these days. You don't even, is there any real training? You just have to wear a costume, hide underground. The one guy had size, those little things. That's not even a fucking weapon, dude. That's Morse cut. What is that for? Even? If we were turtles, you'd be Michelangelo. You know that, yeah? Yeah, that's the one with the stick, isn't it? Nah, uh, Michelangelo is the one, the orange one. What did, what were his weapons? Oh, nunchucks. Nunchucks are I'd be dangerous. Donatello. Not you a would? Big deal. Yeah, I'm a purple guy. You'll yeah. figure it out. I'd be. Dime, I tell her, because I'm a fucking dime boy. Bebop, <laughs> bebop and rock steady. April though. it is, bro. April it up, baby. 62% of people say rogue. <clears throat> wow. Get your fucking life. <laughs> I've never trusted our fan base. Oh, this one, disturbing. Kelly Crosby. 
and Baby Campbell from Arizona. Tell oh, me. Baby got front, too. Look at them tots, huh? <laughs> hey, guys. Debate club question. What is scarier, ghosts or aliens? Gang, gang. Buzz, buzz. Oh, my God. Is that fucking... He's cute, man. He is cute. I thought that we was Brian Callen. I thought that was Brian Callen. Um, she has something on her back. Um, it's a beautiful young man. Um, what, what, what is she? God, bro. What's scarier? Scary, what's scarier, ghosts or aliens? Ghosts or aliens? Fucking aliens. This is an easy one. Yeah, dude. Ghost. What's the worst they can do? I don't know. Fuck with my lights. Might pull my sheets back. Okay, so, cool, man. Somebody told me once in a dream that aliens are going to come here and fight black people. Is that crazy or what? Did a white person tell you that? No, I don't remember who it was. But and somebody by aliens, said, they mean other white well, people? Well, that there's a low-key beef between aliens and black people. Oh, they're we called, don't they're know called about. Mexicans. <laughs> <laughs> what? Bro? Yeah, bro. I don't think so, dude. Who told you this? No, Maurice Claret told me the most dangerous people in prison are Mexicans. That they are the, the most cartel. dangerous people. Yeah, the most dangerous. Now it's coming from a black guy. So no, somebody told me there's beef between black people and aliens, dude. I'm not a black person. I'm not insider trading here. I don't know. So let's go to our let's go to our ethnic friends that are here right now. Are you, are you assuming are, cats or Derek are scared of aliens because they're black? I don't know if anyone's scared of them. I'm saying, <laughs> is there a low key beef between ethnicities that aren't white? I'm white. I don't know. We have beef against certain things. What don't we like? We have what do white people have beef against? I would say probably money, taxes, water, slow internet. Um, I don't know what current white Priuses. beefs are. No, a lot of white people like them. I don't mm, think. None of the whites I, I don't. hang out with. That's true. Me neither. What do you think, Dare? Are you scared of aliens? I just want to know, Theo, did you get that information from the movie Independence Day? <laughs> I don't know. If that's did true. you see Will oh, Smith no. punch, a bla- punch an alien? And you're like, oh, there's beef between oh, Will these. Smith it could have been aliens, it. and he's kind of the leader. Yeah. I don't remember what I was watching, but I fell asleep and had a dream that, and I've, and then it started to resonate with me that there is a low key thing going on between black people and aliens that. And I wouldn't know about it, and he, he, you wouldn't know about it. You know? I think when you refer to aliens, you mean Mexicans. I think that's what's going no, on. No, I'm here. talking about air aliens, Illegal dude. aliens. I'm talking about air aliens. Oh, you're talking about like Area 50. <laughs> Sky four. aliens, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, Derek? You ever heard of this so-called beef? I mean, no, Theo. Okay. <laughs> well, no, I'm, not saying, a, I'm not accusing anybody. Just one black guy, though, said it, so that's where he gets his imp- you know, the Well, I'll tell you this, dude. It, the first time black people uh, have a lot of early information because first time I learned about Flat Earth, I was at a pizza place, a late-night pizza fucking spot at a casino. Oh, yeah, he told me this. And two black dudes said, hey, man, we got to talk to you, right? And I thought, you know, shit was about to go down, you know? Like they were going to run a train on you? No. Oh, you thought you were going to beat you up? I didn't know. I wasn't sure. I thought oh, we were going to wow. do that or gamble together. Talk about fucking racial profile. <laughs> dude, it Just was. Just because two black guys are like, hey, can we talk to you? Like, oh, my God, don't hit me. Like, well, no, dude. We're going to talk about flat earth. Well, that's what they did. They sat me down in the pizza parlor, and which is irony because you're in a pizza parlor, right? And so the pizza, that whole setup, and that's the way they said, look, man, look at this pizza. What do you think about it? Said, and flat. I was like, it's, they're like, they said, is it round? And I said, I mean, it's round, but they said, but really it's flat. And they, but did you and go? And then is they, it deep these dish? two dudes explained to me flat Earth, and I'd never heard it before. And then years later, flat Earth comes to be this big thing. You know, they just, you know, you know, they're doing all of flat. Yeah, everything. big thing for dummies, but yeah, I guess it's a big thing. Big thing for thinkers, I think. But now to hear that black people and aliens are against each other again, I. I don't know if that's real. That's I, what I'm trying to I think have those Derek might be the same up. flat earthers. I'm not hiding it from you, Theo. It's not. I don't know where you got that from. Okay, I believe you. Okay. There might be buddy. some truth there, though. But I think you're. I think you're a little confused. And are you hearing anything on your front, Cat? About aliens and black people? Nah, Just aliens. A- what and... about Asians and aliens? Yeah. Oh, Asians hate other Asians. I know that. Okay. Well, <laughs> well, I'm glad we got that out of the way. Well, damn, dude. <laughs> yeah, wow. Yeah. They can't stand other Asians. Wow. You know, you know what's crazy, though? Is you never hear Asians with conspiracy theories or aliens. They don't yeah, give a fuck. Stories. You have a lot oh, of ghosts. really? Like, you have that ghost forest or whatever the fuck. Where, like... Uh, you mean the suicide forest? Yes. Yeah. There's ghosts there. Sure. Yeah. Well, that's Logan Paul did that. that yeah, I know. And but, I think, yeah, he killed his brother over there. Something, what happened? <laughs> they stumbled upon he took a, video. a dead brother. Yeah, he, he took he a, made video. a video in the forest. Oh yeah, well look, man, I think Asians don't fuck with the conspiracy theories and like flat earth shit. They're too busy make 
making shit. What do you mean making shit, dude? What do you mean, dude? What do you mean you're the one wearing all the shit they're making? I know. So are you. This what do made you think in America, you, you idiot. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, Tulsa. it's not. Uh, I'm way more scared of aliens. <clears throat> Fuck a ghost. What's the worst thing a ghost can do to you? Ghosts can haunt you. Ghosts can possess your grandmother. Cool. Ghosts Make can, her, give her some energy. Ghosts can live at your grandparents' house forever. Yeah, ju- they just haunt old people. I'm amazed we haven't seen as many ghosts recently as there were. In L.A., there's no ghosts. I, I definitely need to see at that. At the comedy store? Go to the belly room turn the lights off. Shit's definitely haunted. <laughs> dude, that's a guy feeling on you, dude. <laughs> Is it? Is it the ghost, same guy every idiot. time? Motherfucker. Damn. I thought it was a ghost. Um, thought it was a gay ghost. But yeah, I'll go aliens because they're like the bigger ghosts. They're like ghost daddy, you know? And we don't know what they're doing. They're out there. They might come by. They might not. But dude, I'll tell you this. I'd watch a group of aliens and a group of brothers fucking throw down any day of the week. Yeah, you, you keep going back to aliens versus black guys. And I don't... Maybe because it, I heard maybe early... Maybe it'd be a fun in, video game, but... I heard early information. Aliens versus black guys, the video game? Yeah, I'd play that. Dude. Good, don't touch ah, me. Dude, that's a good lawsuit. video game, yeah, dude. dude. You hit me right in one of my carpals. Sorry, dude. Talk to Poirier about it. 51% oh. of people said aliens. Fuck wow. you. Hey, ghosts, what are they going to do? Our next one. But if you hear anything, Derek, let us know. You know I got yeah, you. Yeah, keep buddy. us Thank on you. that front. Just text me. <laughs> uh, next one comes from Cody from Anaheim. Oh, this shit. Powerful Cody. hair, wow. Cody. Anaheim. Gang, gang, buzz, buzz. It's your boy, Cody, coming at you from Dallas, Texas. What's up, Cody? Just sitting around waiting for Brendan to bring that big dick energy tour. Yeah, throw the energy in there, bro. Announce that date. In the meantime, I have a debate club question for you guys. If time travel existed, would you rather go back in time to experience a historic event of the past or maybe change something or go forward in time and see what the future is all about? Love you guys. Gang, gang. Buzz, buzz. Buzz, buzz, brother. Powerful here. Now, here's the thing. I don't want to jump to conclusions here, Mm -hmm. but Derek, being a Black man, I assume you don't want to ever go back. Yeah. You always want to go forward. Forward. Yeah. It's bad. In but like yeah. 1985. Yeah. Only what? white people want to go back. Yeah. That's a good point, actually. Black when people you think are about more it? forward progress, yeah. Black people always want to go to the future. White people want to go back and like bet on Muhammad Ali fights and fucking football <laughs> games <laughs> and make money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's all or, about the money. Or taste dessert for the first time. Yeah. Dude, that's what I'd go back to. Or invent the iPhone or some shit. Yeah, first time I ever had dessert, bro. I remember having dinner. I'll be like, oh, it was so good. And then somebody's like, oh, dinner was good? What about this Overtime, motherfucker? Overtime, bitch. Yeah. Overtime. What'd they give you? A Twinkie when you are a kid or something? Banana pie, bro. Oof. A nice custard. Oh. A nice banana custard. So fucking good, dude. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Uh definitely uh I don't want to go to the future. I'd rather I'd rather go back in time. Yeah. But are you gonna know what you know now? Because I have a lot of dreams where I go back in time and like undercover boss, you know, on like plantations and stuff like that. And I'll like have to like make sure everybody's, you know, keeping in line with what's going oh, on. Oh, you're a slave or, owner. Not a slave owner, I'm a actual employee. Oh, but I'm undercover boss. Oh, word. Yeah. And you're like hearing the the concerns of the other yeah. employees. Yeah, concerns of the employees, see what's going on, new music, that kind of thing. Just kind of ear to the grindstone, you know? But uh, so I would say I would go back in time if I can know stuff from the future. The future looks fucking sad, bro. It looks pretty sad. It's scary. a lot of people coming and stuff at their house and mailing it off to other people, it seems like. Well, it's a lot of people coming at their house on robots. There's yeah. a lot of robot fucking going on. Ugh. A lot of flat earthers. <clears throat> Imagine coming on something and then there's no bat. You have to change the bat. There's no batteries in it or something. So you like <laughs> empty it out. Yeah. You gotta clean it. You know how sad that is cleaning up your Ugh. fucking cum dumpster of a robot. Bro, can you not say terms like that? Sorry, dude. Oh, dude. What if your sex robot had the lava lamp in it? Oh, so you're yeah. busting. You don't clean it up. It's a lava. You take out the lava lamp. And you turn. Yeah, you take out that lava lamp and just put it in your living room. Put a little color in there. Boom. Dude, that's what I'm talking about. Mom that. watching her house, she goes, you have 17 lava lamps. That's really cool. I'm talking about that bust orb. I'm talking about that bust orb that we're going to create, bro. Why don't we make a bust orb? We should. And let's market them and sell it. It would be great to have. Imagine, because here's the thing. You're busting nuts anyways. Yeah. What are you doing You're busting all these stupid nuts, you idiot. You're wasting on wiping up with socks and fucking in your sheets. Coming and napping. Coming and napping. Tighten Do up. With it. Tighten yeah, up. imagine if you had a teamwork lamp in the in the lobby of your fucking apartment. Decorate your crib. Everybody's busted out in there, Think bro. Think of you and your buddies just busting the same lamp. Yeah. It's a team project. I love a it. A bus lamp? Yeah, dude. Get you a bus lamp. Damn, get 1999. You a, yeah, get King you that bus, bus lamp. lamp. 
And I guess it comes with the fluid, and then when you bust, it just stays in there. It stays in there, but then you got to heat it up so those puppies start working. Oh, it'll work, man. That'll work. Uh, 50, 50%? It's 50. It's dead. Past 50, and future. 50? 50, 50. For what, aliens and what? For past and future. Oh, past and future. Wow. So I guess we're happy where we are, right here in the middle. Yeah, man. That's, a, That's yeah, pretty good. You're right. People are happy. Uh, this next one is from Bruno from Toronto. Oh, another guy from Toronto. Come on, fucking, what's his Yo, name Yo, what's going here? on? Theo and Brennan. I uh, got a debate club for you. Um, Game of Thrones <laughs> or Avengers? Hmm. Uh, gang, gang, buzz, buzz. Thanks so much. Love the show. Peace. This guy definitely looks, he has a NASA shirt on, and he looks like an actual astronaut. If you yeah, had somebody does. that was an astronaut. I'd buy it. Yeah, ha, there's no way he doesn't play an astronaut or a astronaut's young buddy that's kind of like low-key shadowing him um, in every movie. He looks like a NASA intern. No, he looks like more than an intern. intern you would think? Be, yeah, He intern. looks too young to be a, a... But he looks like he has a shot at going into space. Man. Yeah, I agree, dude. It looks like he has um, a chance. Game of Thrones or Avengers? Mm -hmm. ah, listen, man, I don't fuck with Avengers. I fucks with Game of Thrones. You do? Oh, I'm balls deep in the Game of Thrones. You ever seen a White Walker, Theo? Uh -uh. You ever seen a fucking dragon? You ever heard Clay Walker, dude, the fucking musician? Nope, don't give a fuck. Really good. You Her ever seen Khaleesi? Her hair is long. No? 64. She was born in Baton Rouge. So uh, no, I don't know that song, bro. You uh, probably don't see either, huh? Khaleesi? Khaleesi. I hit on Khaleesi before that show was big at a... Uh, you a scumbag. I hit on her appropriately. At first it was her. Lindsay Lohan. Now it's the Queen of the Dragons. Dude, I put a God, note under Lindsay Lohan's door that said if she was up late and bored that I was <laughs> next door. You know how creepy door. that is? Hey, <laughs> I'm next door. If you're up late and bored, I'm wide awake next door <laughs> staring into your window. <laughs> Dude, the, the With wind. your haircut? You know how weird that is? And you're probably in a robe? I wasn't in a robe, bro. I was in a what nice hotel room. We're on spring break? Uh -huh. What are you doing next to Lindsay Lohan? She was like 17 then. No, she was not 17. Yeah, she dude. was, bro. We were both she adults. She was young as fuck. No, I even remember looking at the IMDb of Parent Trap to make sure that you we were both to, right? of age. Yeah. What are we saying? What are we even talking about? Avengers or Game of Thrones. Avengers Sorry, Game of Thrones. I need a nap. Game, I don't watch either one of them. I'll tell you this. What is good, though, is just the 10 of us reruns. Can you bring up a picture of that? Just the 10 of us? Yeah. What's Talk that about on? one man and fucking nine hotties living in an apartment together. You could not make this TV show today. 1987? Yeah, can we zoom in on that? Dude, or are we I, just going to guess what everybody I, I looks like? I believe more in it? dragons than I do this bald dude having all these chicks. Hot chicks, too, bro. Yeah, it's up for, for debate. Look well, that's this. a dude on the left there. And then that one is underage on the far bottom. For now, it's a dude, bro. Anything can happen. Yeah, you're right. 1987, though, you got to stay a dude. You bro, know? when you have 10 kids, you could fucking lose a kid, bro. At the mall, dude. Yeah, you don't even care. Who gives off? Oh, boy. <laughs> Nine you know more, bro. Nine more. It's going to be a thicker Christmas for the rest of us if we lose one, Fuck bro. Yeah, more sheets. So, gang, that's a great show if you get to find those reruns. But yeah, otherwise, but Game it's of Thrones up to you. Or Avenger? Game of Thrones all day. I don't fuck with it. Yeah, I don't watch all that kind of stuff, man. But if I'm going to, I'd rather see somebody Do you get watch hit. anything? Do you like watch Netflix or anything? What do you, I watch what Dateline, do you do? really. Yeah, I guess Dateline. What else do you do? I love missing people, and I love. Um, they had a show called Disappear, but they couldn't find anybody else that was missing, which you is like, like ironic. Crime drama, like First Forty Eight. You look like the type of dude that jacks off to Law and Order. Oh, is that what I look like, dude? <laughs> no, I don't. What else do we got? It was fifty-one percent of people said Game of Thrones. Oh, come yeah. on, it's biggest show of all time. Yeah, you is it really? It? Yeah. Not even close. That's just because Breaking Bad gave up. Breaking Bad was weak. You know? Bro, they shot an infant out there. I don't know. I have, I don't... Breaking Bad, teachers selling drugs. All right, I'm out. Yeah. Now it's everyone's favorite time. It's a commercial from King and the Sting. Oh, I love HelloFresh, man. I'll tell you right out the gate, bro. You got some goals, bro? 2019 goals? Well, I'll say this. Not look to look like a... What? Like a handsome young man. Like a straight up pimp pan Z, baby. You feel yeah, me, son? Dog, it starts with out, food, bro. I'll Stop be out working in the out. trees serving nanas, bro. If you need me, I'm that pimp pan Z. I'll say this though: if you are struggling in a relationship or just want to spend more time with family or anything, I use HelloFresh. You, you do? Know, I really do, man. If there's somebody you haven't been able to spend some time with, I say, hey, come on over. Let's splice up a meal together, and that's what HelloFresh can do. Yeah, but is it is it enjoyable? Is it easy with HelloFresh, or is it a night? 
nightmare. Does it take nine hours to make food these days? I thought it was going to be a nightmare. I thought I was going to open up the HelloFresh box and M. Night Shyamalan was going to pop out at me. But that's not the case, dude. HelloFresh is comfortable. It makes conquering the kitchen in 2019 a reality. Do all With, meals come together in 30 minutes? Yeah, 30 man. minutes or less? They're deliciously simple recipes, just like Brendan Schaub himself. Dude, what if, though, I, I want a variety. Is there a classic? Is there a veggie? What about a, I gotta feed my family, bro. I got a family. They got veggie, bro. They got classy. They got veggie. They got dual. They got your cousin. Whatever they want. Get that hitter that's spent, that is just for you. All meals, 30 minutes max. And call for less than two pots and pans. So that's minimal dishware. Dang. Choose from classic veggie and family with the option to switch between for when your tastes change. That's crazy, Get bro. out of the recipe rut and start cooking. They got good recipes, man. Tight stuff. And you can get $60 off. That's $20 off your first three boxes. Go to HelloFresh.com. Promo code is CATS, K-A-T-S-60. HelloFresh.com slash CATS60. Enter promo code CATS60. Time to pay the bills. I'm on the go this week, brother. Me too, man. I'm in Phoenix. We do a lot of traveling. You oh. and I, we do a lot of traveling. You know what? I don't travel anywhere without my away suitcase, bro. Oh, I won't even go to heaven without it, brother. You know when I'm headed to see the Lord that I will have that sweet bag with me. You got to have a sweet bag if you travel a lot. Away uses high-quality materials while offering a much lower price compared to other brands. You know why? Hmm. They cut out the middleman, bro. Yep. They cut out the middleman. You can choose from nine colors, four sizes, the carry-on. That's what I mess with. The bigger carry-on. That's what I got just now. I just got the bigger carry-on in hunter green, and it is phenomenal. Oh, it is drippy, drippy, yep. man. The interior features a patent-pending compression system helpful for overpackers, and you know what I'm talking about. Uh, wives, here you I'm wives, packing wives, hot. Brother. TSA-approved combination locks built in the top of the bag, so no one's stealing your stuff. Mm -mm. Nah, not anymore, man. They have not anymore. They have removable washable laundry bag to keep your dirty clothes separate from your clean. Both sides of the carry-on are able to charge cell phones, tablets, e-readers, and anything else that's powered by a USB. That's crazy, right? Cord, yep. And crazy. right now, they offer a 100-day trial. Dude, how about that? And also, lifetime warranty. If anything breaks ever, they will fix it for the rest of your life. Yeah, think about that's it, That's how dude. good they are, bro. You could fix it all the way right up to the end of your life. Then, whenever you are ready to die, you could get buried in it, dude. That's how, Two for one. Yeah, that's how long you can have it, man. Some people call it luggage. Some people call it la casket. And I call it a companion. Yep. 100-day trial. Live with it. Vibe with it. Travel with it. Instagram it. Whatever you want to do for 100 days. At any point, you decide, ah, I don't like it. Return it for a full refund. Return it. And we have a special offer right now. For $20 off that suitcase, go to awaytravel.com slash K-A-T-S and use promo code K-A-T-S during checkout. That's awaytravel.com slash K-A-T-S, promo code K-A-T-S. Yep, you're going to love it. Enjoy yourself. Travel somewhere. Leave your spouse if you want to. Do whatever you want. We're a couple of traveling hounds. Oh, dude, I'm a travel hound, boy. You know what I'm saying? I'm that, uh, I'm that, uh, I can't think of anything. You're a hound. <laughs> yeah, I'm a hound. Pay Theo and Brendan. All right, next up, Rip My Drip. Uh, Let's our, see it. Our first one is Dalton Stice from Jacksonville, Illinois. Gang, gang, brother. Wow. Oh, shit. Look at this little. Look at this little old school. Look at this little cum pop. I Dude, mean, he, he oh, looked like he's doing a reenactment for the Civil War and was the guy in charge of sucking the boys off. He looks like straight up uh, Swilly Wonka. Like he'll take a... Check, Take a swill off your rod, bro. I like that gold hat. Me too, dude. He looks like a Tim Burton character that got cut. Yeah, he looks like cum Burton. He looks like somebody that <laughs> looks just, like Billy Burton. <laughs> yeah, he looks like somebody that drove over to Tim Burton's house to bust a nut in the driveway and dude. murder him. Yeah, dude, yeah. is that a pocket watch? Hell yeah, that it shit is, is sick. Look at the jewelry. Look at the jewelry. Zoom in on that jewelry, brother. Oh, cool. Unless you're Chris Angel, take it off. No, he's got. Oh, that's a turquoise, bro. That's, he made that turquoise choice, dude, and that's when you get all dabbed up. Dude, I, I'm assuming that sweat there. My mother wears turquoise, dude. Yeah, my, my grandma used to wear that turquoise. Oh, it's the jewelry of people that dude, smoke what, is that name tag? What's the name tag say? He works at some sort of museum or some shit, because this is old school shit. That's George Washington's pocket watch. He has a name tag. Oh, he's and at the, the hat. Main Street. What is it? Brewing Co.? Zoom in on it again. 
It looks like he has some swag, though, with the jewelry. Main Street Br- Dra- Trading Co. Yeah. Oh, he works at a pawn shop, bro. Yeah, maybe. That's what's going on. Work here. at a pawn shop. So he's wearing something. Civil War pawn. pawn shop. I respect that. Yeah, hell yeah. Dude, that's the hat swaggy. is fire, that bro. Hat is, dude, I don't get why you don't wear something like that. Uh, the hat looks heavy to me. I, my neck is very, I have a lot of cerebral issues. Abe Lincoln figured it in out. My spine. Bro. Abe Lincoln figured Look at the boots. Yeah, and it looks like he's at a Hampton Inn, too, which I love. Those boots look racist. Dude, bury me in a Hampton Inn when I die, brother. You know what I'm saying? Wrap me up in that deluxe suite. Dude, I like this guy. I like this guy, too. What's his name? Daniel? Dalton. 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 Powerful Dalton. Dalton, you could be a race car driver, man, or a guy that delivers milk real fast to people. You think? Oh, yeah. He'd be the fastest milkman this side of East St. Louis, Looks like he delivers lasagna. Mm. And I dig it. I could see that. No one's doing that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I could see. He's that fucking, he's that ravioli martial artist, bro. Like, he'll kick a fucking bolognese right down your fucking throat, you Toss on pussy. some crazy bread on yeah, that sorry. bitch I'm, ass. I, I, I'm You're on. aggressive today, bro. I am, man. You start off with mm. the Jesus, with the Jesus vibe, and now you turn to... What else you got? <laughs> Shout out to this Dalton. Yeah, I'm just struggling. Up next, we got uh, Tim Welch from Phoenix, Arizona. Ooh, Tim Welch. Wakata. Look at them fucking jorts, bro. Dude, he kind of has that Joe Rogan of the of the West vibe, huh? Dude, he has that Joe Rogan of the future vibe, doesn't he? Yeah, well, look it, at those fucking bolets. It looks like Joe Rogan if he uh, if he was in that movie. Um, what's that movie where they where there's things climbing underground and they try to pop out and see you? Tremors. Tremors, yeah. Uh, that's an old movie. He looks like uh, Joe Rogan if he's in Taxi Cab Confessions porno. Yeah, it looks like Joe Rogan and uh, Hulk. Her, he looks like Hulk Herogan. That's who he looked like, dude. Dude, look at his kicks. Remember when Hulk Hogan's son killed somebody with a car? Yeah, that's racing. crazy, man. Yeah, talking about Nick Hogan. Yeah, racism. He's an Uber driver now. Um, let's oh, see damn. what else we got. Look at the fucking powerful fanny pack. Yeah, it's very powerful. And look at the front leg on him. Look at the front leg muscle. You talking about the teardrop, the quad teardrop? That's a. You know what? That's a fellow Peloton rider. Is it? That's what I think. Look at the ass on him. You can't see it, but you can guess what it you looks like. You can guess. You got a peach bottom out the back. Oh, man, dude. The fu- that mean- peach cobbler, bro. That soft area between his ass cheeks. Yeah. Oh, wow. He might have that fucking rat tail hanging out the back, though. Oh, definitely. Not a mullet, he- but a rat tail yeah. Oh, I could see that. Let's zoom in on this guy, too. He's got Let a bunch of that, tattoos. That- he might also be a new uh, Dude, I'll tell you right now. He fucks. No, he fucks. Oh, you he don't fu- take a picture like this with confidence without fucking... Mm, I don't know. I could see somebody taking this and not fucking also. Oh, see, I disagree. Got the fat cock in the front. He has a Ninja Turtle shirt on. This guy's trying too hard for me. You think? Is that Alexi Lawless? Look at his face. Or is he trying? That is Alexi Lawless. Never mind. So that kind of says it all. Remember Alexi Lawless? He has cauliflower, too. Does he? This guy fucks, dude. Guarantee it. Zoom in. Power fucks. Is that this kid fucking Stan? No, it's not him. Are you talking about the guy who wrote Eminem? That's not cauliflower. It's just a pixelated photo, you delinquent. Mm, you don't wear shades like that and shorts like that if you can't choke someone unconscious. I fucks with this dude. Bet you he has his black belt, too, and fucking snap your neck. Yeah. Like those little crawfish you snapped over the weekend. Oh, dude. I put one of them. One of them tapped out, dude. I bet. Just like, give up. Just... Yeah. Suck the heads, eat the tails, bro. Yeah, I can't look at this man anymore. I mean, he looks like a nice man, but I'm tired of looking at him right now. Power <laughs> power move, though. Up next, we got uh, James Dawson from Northamptonshire, England. Okay, J- Dirty International. James. Oh, hell yeah, bro. This is me. This is me right here. What you mean? I'm just saying, if I were in England, this would be me, dude. This kind of person I, I am in England. I don't think so, man. He's a little more beefier than he, a little more manly. Really? He looks... He, he looks like a saber tooth, like a young saber tooth from the X Men movies. Dude, you look like Billy Elliot, bro. St- started a fucking anytime fitness Who's outside Billy of Liverpool, Elliot? huh? Who's Billy Elliot? Bring up a picture of Billy Elliot real quick, if you don't mind. Derek's really great on the computer, isn't he? I've never owned a computer in my life, so thank you. Let's get Billy Elliot an image of him. Billy Elliot is like kind of like the Christopher Columbus of like uh, way of Wales. This kid? Yeah. Oh. Not puffed up. Hmm. I, I'm not poof, dog. You know, I expect, I'm not poof. I expect that a guy listens to Yellow Wolf. Um, <laughs> Yellow yeah. Wolf, one of the top probably 11 rappers of all time, dude. I expect that out of you. Homeschool, Flat Earther, 
That's fine. 70 out of sure. 72 tow truck drivers listening to fucking Yellow Wolf no songs. Doubt. You better get your mind up. No doubt, bro. You better mind up. And that's King of the Lot am. Lizards. I'm just saying, you look like Billy Elliot, Billy Elliot opened up a smoothie shop outside of, outside of fucking Manchester. Dude, this guy looks like the muscle for some fucking... Hell yeah. Some hooligan Dude, soccer club. This looks like Michael Bisping at a young age, doesn't it, though, in a, in a way? Kinda? A little bit. This a guy looks bit. like he doesn't take any shit. Like, he yeah. didn't want to take this picture. He looked like he bullied <laughs> the guy who took the picture. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> This guy looks like fucking, he beats ass, right? Yeah, dude, he does. Like, he drinks tea and beats ass. Yeah, dude, That's yeah. what he does. Dude, he definitely does, man. It looks like he'll have a little, like a spot of tea, and then just beat the living fucking... If there's not enough sugar in there, he's beating the fuck out of you. Oh, he'll teabag a whole nation, bro. This guy looks like teabagger, a uh, a superhero in, 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 in Britain. I don't want to fucks with this guy. What else we got? Dude, this guy will definitely, mar he'll Markle Megan, if you know what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> yeah, dude, bro. That guy puts it I'll Markle Megan, bro. Don't touch me. Uh, King him. We got a relationship advice. King him, bro, because I'll say this, advice? Prince Charles starting to look like a straight pussy, bro. Let's be honest, dude. You Prince Charles? Saying? Which one's Prince Charles? Huh? Which one's Prince? They both look like bitches, but which yeah, one's dude. Prince? No, one of them was in the war, but one of them has just been No, what do you mean war? One flew over the war. <laughs> okay. Well, and then he's like, oh, I'm battle tested. <laughs> Bitch, you were in a bulletproof jet with 17 other dudes. But I love you, England. <laughs> uh, my mom's from there. Is she really? Yeah, bro. Born and raised. Wow, I could see that a little bit. Yeah, mate. Bo raised, bro. Born mate. and raised, bro. <laughs> My bad. Mate. My bad, man. My this bad. is a you know, power to the queen. Yeah, you don't know how a globe works. Power Onward. to the queen, bro. Who don't go to England. Huh? Don't go to England. I'm going to England. What? I'm going to England. You shouldn't. Yeah, well, I will. Well, you got to get my approval. Go ahead. <laughs> Nick Macedonia from Fort Lauderdale. Oh, dude, I love your nuts, bro. What's up, Theo and Brendan? <laughs> Nick here from Miami, Florida, and uh, I need some relationship advice. What's up, bro? So there's this girl I've been talking to for a few months now. Mm -hmm. She's been giving me uh, some signals. You what know? kind of I signals? She wants it. And, uh, <laughs> wants I what? Like her Hold on. Bit. Pause it Hold real on. quick. Wants what? But Your dick? First of all. <laughs> Don't say wants it. Let's hear him say it one more time, man, because I she, really love this guy. Mr. Macedonia. Dude, he was all nonchalant. Hold on. Wants it. So there's this girl I've been talking to for a few months now. She's been giving me uh, some signal, you know? I think she wants it. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, okay, let's pause going, it right there if you don't keep mind. Going. Now, keep Derek, going. what do you think about this guy <laughs> out of the gate? Is, uh, you know, as somebody who's, uh, let's just say, has beef with aliens, okay? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about a guy who, a regular white earthling who says that girls like, girl, like, what do you, what's your thoughts on Nick Macedonia? I think before he says some girl... What, what, wants it, he should get out of his mom's living room. You know what I mean? I was kind of feeling him. He seemed nice at first, right? Until he went, throw me signs because she wants it. Well, he said the girl's sending out signals, which I also agree. A lot of times girls will send you signals like they'll leave their apartment early and go to work, uh, which I'll take as a signal sometimes. Or you'll see a girl take her trash out late at night. Or watch like, TV oh. and you think, oh, she's in the same things I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or you'll see Plays the radio and you're like, we're the same. We're soulmates. yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, or you'll see that she gets a lot of the same type of mail that you get. And so there's a lot of ways to tell, you know, a lot of signals from women out there. It's hard to shift through all of it, man. Oh, it's hard to shift through it. Like, sometimes they'll play hard to get. They'll drive home, and they'll just drive right into their, and they'll they'll get out of their car and walk straight into their house without looking over at you. Yeah, which isn't cool when you're in the bush all goddamn day. Yeah, which isn't cool. I mean, at least acknowledge I'm there. But it's I've also hours. very coy, and I kind of like that. Yeah, hard to get, you know? Sometimes you got to go in the house. So we'll uh, we'll we'll start with some uh, some advice after he after he asked from uh, Derek and Cat. Let's see what you guys have for this young man. He has a boyfriend who she's been with for quite a while now, a couple of years, four, five, something like that. That's too nothing. He's too lazy and, about it. And uh, you know we talk a lot and stuff, and I'm just really fucking confused mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. I don't know if she likes me, if she likes him. She tells me she has doubts in that relationship, and I don't know what to do. Should I? Uh, just let her let it go, you know, and kind of wait and do my own thing, or should I should I tell her wh what I feel, or I'm not really sure what to do. Anyways, uh, let me know, gang gang, buzz buzz, Theo, see you April twenty six, West Palm Beach. Gang buzz bro. buzz, I'll gangster. see you this weekend. Um, <clears throat> let's start with a lady's perspective, cat. Well, she definitely doesn't want to be with her boyfriend anymore. No. I'll tell you that now. Yeah. You're just an easy out, honestly. Yeah. You just need a reason. She he's just the needs outlet. an out. Yeah. yeah, he's the outlet. If it's not him, it might be somebody else. No, she just wait. She don't want either of them. 
She's just talking to homeboy to pass time to something nice come swimming along. So he's he's just a, a bookmark. He's not really. Mm-hmm. Should he make a move on her? I mean, if he's ready for the mess that ensues, I mean, her boyfriend may come after you. The mess you mean out. in his pants, cat? No, she's talking about an actual human interaction, you creep. Derek? Get in there, bro, bro. <laughs> Get in <laughs> there. Bro, bro. Unless, you, unless you're boys with him. If you're boys with that guy, not cool. Yeah, that doesn't sound like cool. he knows him, does but, it? Yeah, that's he what He would have mentioned like. that. Yeah. yeah. I'd offer that macadamia, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'd drop a little, you know. I'd just come in hot, too. Yeah, I'd pull my pants down. Yeah. Such an old school move, you freak. Not for Louis C.K. No, no dude, you done. just... You just see you see where you're at. That's true. Right now it's blurry. Get your cock out. Well, here's the thing about Louis C.K. and people don't want to say this: the women weren't interested. He came in the plant. You know what I'm saying? I thought it was thoughtful, bro. I thought it was the most green way to sexually kind of infuriate someone. You diffuse the situation. Yeah. You know? Oh, you don't want this? I'll give it back to Nothing Mother to Nature. Nothing to be out of fucking lava lamp. Yeah. Some ladies getting it. Mother Nature. Someone got it. Yeah, imagine putting that into a lava lamp, though, and entertaining your friends for decades to come. God. Imagine passing your bust lamp, your, your bust orb, onto your children. It t- and it took years to complete. Dad, is this all your semen, Dad? Nah, that's me and my buddies there. That's a whole... Oh, oh, pirates are busting in the lamp. Was that <laughs> a pirate? Oh, cool. Anybody. Okay. Don't make me get that guy who had us rip his drip on your ass, dude. Michael Bisping. Early Bisping. The bully? Yeah, the bully. Uh, this guy, dude, the lines are blurry. He, she's not into either of them. He's just an outlet. But yeah, but see what's up. I think he's a nice man. He obviously shops at Pottery Barn. If he got that type of pillow with that uh, uh, different type of style on it. He's a little lazy, though. He has that posture. He just got done busting nuts, and he's just like, let me make a video for these boys. Like, he's all like yeah. this, you know? It's not very, a lot of energy going on. Yeah, it's very uh, leaving Neverland of him. Kind yeah, of, I agree. Which I hate to, you know. Remind you of different times in your life. But let's move on. <laughs> what do I know, dude? Up next for relationship advice, we got Aaliyah. This is uh, this is Aaliyah. Yo, gang, gang. So I'm having trouble with my best friend, or were my best friend. I slept with her boyfriend. Mm. <clears throat> so we are kind of yeah, in the beef. It. Yep. And Yo, are you? I try to apologize to her, mm. but she's not listening. Yeah. Should I still keep apologizing, or should I just let it go? It's been a month now since we have a whole month to each other. So, well, I'm sorry you're going through this, Aaliyah. Uh, that one Aaliyah died, so you're doing better than her. You're doing better than her. And I'll say this as well, young lady, that um. You you just can't apologize on her time. Like you can't apologize on your timeline. You got to apologize on her timeline. So you might just have to give it some space and then apologize again. Find a different way to apologize. <laughs> Send a mail. Hey, can we can we address though that she fucked her best friend's man? She's yeah. not a victim. Oh, she's I don't not feel a victim. Sorry for her. I don't feel sorry for her, but I understand that she's trying to apologize. She just wants to it's, apologize. It's been a month though. She's not gonna be like, yeah, you right. Let's let's get back and fucking go to Disneyland, girl. Right, she's not gonna. So she need she yeah, you can't apologize fast. Apologize takes a long time. It takes, you know, an actual commitment to it, t- it takes a commitment to someone to prove to them that you feel bad about what happened, dude. If you burn down somebody's fucking, you know, lavanderia or whatever, wash washateria, then they're fucking pissed, bro. You know, and you gotta fucking apologize to them over years. You gotta pay them back, dude. And it's it's, it's a big it's ordeal. It's tough when you fuck somebody's best friend, though, you know? It's tough. Yeah, and it's probably you're not going to have a friendship with her. No, for, it's probably over, huh? For maybe this life cycle. But you can build, you know, I'm not... In the next life. Oh, reincarnation, motherfucker, I'll see you again. Yep. You, know? you might come back as elephants. Yeah, and next... you're cool. Yeah, and next time you're not going to fucking stampede on her man. No. Yeah. Sheer peanuts. Yeah, you're gonna be. Sh- yeah, next time if you're. Yeah, the only thing you'll be sharing is peanuts. So that's what I would say. I would say, look, this life I fucked up. She seems sorry though, doesn't she? She seems a little down. She's a pretty lady. She's pretty lady, man. Super but she pretty. seems also like she might fuck somebody's fucking her friend's boyfriend. <laughs> yes, so, that's what it appears, huh? Yeah. So that's you know. <laughs> There's that too. And you know what? Kind of turns me on. And I bet she's gonna. <laughs> I bet she's gonna be all right in life. I bet she's gonna be fine. Well, dude, you also were. You won the. Um, you won the Neverland Ranch. Fucking. You're sticking on the Michael Jackson, bro. You title. look. You were actually molested as a child. My parents loved the shit out of me. No one touched my dick, bro. 
Was even really? the Boy Scouts. Nobody Was believes you. Was even the Boy Scouts, bro. Nobody believes you, crazy wigger, bro. You're fucking dressed <laughs> up like a psychopath. Yeah. I'm dressed like a psycho? You have tattoos? Bro, you look like you're sponsored by the Goodwill. <laughs> What are Whatever. you talking about? It's a nice shirt. You look shirt. like the WNBA gave you their clothes. <laughs> this is a cotton shirt, you goon. Yeah, whatever, bro. Bro, what are you talking about, dude? Bro, you look like a dude that referee. Bro, you look like a referee at a fucking swim meet in Jacksonville, dude. I'll take you it. You look horrible. Dude, you need new friends. Bro. You, you need to not get Nick's <laughs> approval on the way you dress, man. You're both creeps. You yeah. can't have another creep tell you you look good. Yeah, small hat gang, bro. Why don't you fucking get a hat that fits Dude, you? Dude, why don't you get a haircut that's relevant to a 19? <laughs> this is a good haircut. It's only two weeks old. All right. What else you got? Uh, up next, we're going to do Flaunt My Aunt. Bring it. Start with Aunt Janney Smith. Aunt Janney Smith. Oh, I Janney want Chin's up. aunt back on this bitch. Remember Chin's fine ass aunt? Oh, yeah, bro. That's she's just, she's in my DMs with them tits. That Dust Bowl bad girl, bro. I remember her. That she seemed like somebody Korean that... Fucking Korean barbecue bad girl? Huh? Oh, dude. Of mice and maybe I'll bust on you. She was <laughs> hot, bro. She was from the 1930s, bro. Tango and... Oh, hey, Amen. Yeah. Man. Chin and M, bro. I am whatever you say I am. I'm staying up in that age. That shit was a happy mad. ending. Yeah. This is Stan, bro. Uh, what's up with this girl? She's uh, modeling she, a tractor? Yeah, this is Aunt Janny Smith. Uh, she just recovered from heart surgery. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Good and for she's her. She's got man. a lot of love to give, dude. Look, I'll let you. Look, I'll let you. Uh, I'll never j- write you a John Deere letter, I promise you. That beautiful lady out here. And obviously hanging out in the lobby of a Cracker Barrel, they let you do this type of stuff, or they let you dress up. And Janny Smith, obviously named after the apples, which are right on the wall behind her. Is that a apple? Can we zoom out the other way? There she you looks go. like a Bang. free we spirit, can't tell. huh? She does. Look like a free spirit with a good heart. Sell you some apples, maybe a little weed on the side. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she a little also, hippie vibe, huh? Yep, she's got that hippie vibe, that Georgia hippie vibe. She also looked looked like she could possibly moonlight as a uh, Brett Michaels, um, you know, show up at parties at children's parties and stuff. Sing a little Brett Michaels. What was his big jam? We both lies all in these deal in the dead of the night. All the songs. And then he the banged same. all those freaking uh, ladies. <laughs> like Rock the, of Love. Oh, he banged. You know, there's a new one with the Jersey Shore Boys. No way. Yeah. Oh. It's called uh, Sex Crimes Van. <laughs> I forget what it's called. I forget, but it's the Jersey Shore Boys. It's basically Rock of Love, but with. Fucking Jersey Shore. Boys. Yeah, but Paulie Shore is blackface in these days, or whatever that guy's. God, is. Paulie lay D. off the tanner, Paulie. Dude, D. what are you just dr- fucking injecting chocolate milk into your cheeks? That guy is getting a little dark these days. Double shot, shot at, at love. Mm-hmm. Yeah, might be something worth checking out for us. But yeah, I love this. I love the Brett Michaels vibe. Congratulations on the new A orders, and you just rock those fucking love sockets and just keep them popping. Fuck huh? yeah, good pump, luck on pump. the veins, girl. Pump, pump, gang, gang. You feel me? That vast deference, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that Venus flytrap, that long one in your neck. Go. Up next, we got Grandpa Pete. This is Grandpa Pete. You mean Danny DeVito? <laughs> uh, first of all, this guy looks like every uh, character from an '80s movie. I feel like in one person. He looks like Doesn't Danny he? DeVito if he was hunting. He looks like Daddy Shack, bro. This dude looks like every character from Daddy Shack in <laughs> one person. <laughs> like they combined it all the characters. He looks like Just the happiest him. guy in the whole world. He Where does. is he in Iowa? He looks like a sell you minnows. Yeah, he does. That's what he does. Bro, it looks like he'll sell you minnows right out of his stomach, dude. Like, I swear to God, he could just put one of those big spoons into himself (laughs) and just pour some in a cup. Do we have any facts on this dude? He loves fishing, golfing, and watching TV. Then, hello, we just labeled his whole life Caddyshack. He likes living, bro. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, this guy looks like an organ donor, dude. Like, he just cut you off a piece of his own liver right there and put it into you. And it's going to be good, too. You know, the liver is one of the only regenerative, and that's not a racial slur. It's one of the only regenerative uh, organs. You know that? You could cut your liver in half, give half of it to someone, give half of it to Kat. It'll grow back? It'll grow back for you, and it'll grow back for her. I didn't know that. Yep. So you can liver. So if you're dying or somebody's dying, don't eat all their liver. Eat a little bit of it and let more grow back. 
Shout out to Danny DeVito, though, doing the damn thing. <laughs> yeah, this guy seemed like he could definitely serve Grandpa, him. he looks more like an uncle. Oh, I would call him a grandpa. Oh, I bet you could pull an eel right out of his piss stream, dude. This guy seems like a real fucking St. Bernard of a human, and I like looks him. Looks like he owns leeches. What else you got? <laughs> uh, our last one is Aunt Nisha. This is Aunt Nisha from Magna, Utah. Oh. Oh, damn. Hmm. She uh, enjoys eating wet burritos and loves Ooh. that '70s show. Is that a sexual term? What's a wet burrito? Yo, I, I think it's a burrito covered in that sauce. Oh, you talking about that burrito uh, that's covered like uh, tostada style? I think so. Enchilada style? Yes. They put the enchilada sauce on top and then the cheese. Yeah. Wet burrito sounds super sexual. Does it? <laughs> yeah, bro. You trying to get that wet burrito, girl? <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude, that's a pickup line. If in you Tucson. didn't know, wet burrito, Cleveland steamer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> Two totally different meals, brother. I'll say yeah. that. Yeah, bro, you ain't lying, dude. You're disgusting. She uh, she also considers herself a smilf. What is that? A single mom. I'd like to. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's a show on uh, Showtime, isn't it? Smilfs. I think so. And what were the Smurfs, dude? Single. Well, oh, that was a cult. Mini. They were. That was a blue cult. The blue yeah. man group is a cult. Uh, this aunt looks like she's into some fucking the dark arts, as you would say. Oh, she looks yeah. like she likes magic. She looks like uh, she likes black things. Oh, she'll look like she'll fucking do a dab or cadabra, bro. Like she'll take a hard dab and fuck anybody in the house, dude. I shouldn't say that. Actually, she seems like a nice lady, man. She's a, she has a clean apartment or clean home. She has two dog bowls right there in the back. So she's feeding them puppies, Dog bowls? Dude. What kind of dogs does she have? Those look like human bowls. Well, maybe, how big those bowls are. Maybe her dog's like cereal, dude. Maybe she has Dobermans. Maybe she has St. Bernard's. Mm, good point. Okay. And she's obviously the kind of lady that works hard. She has a... Uh, she's 25? Yeah. Enjoys wet burritos, 70s show. That show doesn't run anymore. I like her, though. She has her own style, kind of, because what 25-year-olds is watching that 70s show? I don't blame you, though. There's a lot of bad television now, so why not watch good television? There's just a lot of bad stuff out there. Shit, yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm not mad at her. Look at this auntie. Oh, dude, I would probably take her somewhere nice. What's her name again, Derek? Magna. She's in Utah? Utah. Girl, you need to take her to the Red Iguana. No, she's from Magna, Utah. Her name's Aunt Nisha. And she's from Utah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> why, why did he say her originally? I thought her name was Magna. That's, That's where a she's dope from. name. Yeah, I know. It's all like, Aunt Nisha? Aunt, Aunt Nisha. Aunt Nisha. All right. Well, uh, you need to take her to Red Iguana in Utah, bro. Get the best wet burritos in the land. They do? Yeah. Shout out to Salt Lake City. I'll take Shout her anywhere. Shout out to Ants. Yeah, she seemed like the kind of girl you would maybe take abroad, take her to a foreign country, take her to the Filipinos, take nah, her to the she, they don't Canada, have wet burritos out there, bro. Take her to dark, you know, white. Uh, take her to Canada, white Canada. Some people call it. Um, I don't know. Take her to fucking where Cleveland to the. Um, no, you need to take her to fucking dog track somewhere. Where do women like to go these days? I don't know. I've been on a date in so long. Legoland. Legoland, yeah. Yeah, take her to Legoland and stack that ass up. You feel me? <laughs> I'm just joking, and I shouldn't have said that. They got that. wet burritos there, bro. No, they don't. Will you quit saying wet burritos? I can't. Uh, did such an interesting detail. Wet burrito? Oh, I agree. The second... I think it's a sexual term. <laughs> no shit, buddy. It is now. Yeah. Who wants that? Dude, you want me to wet your burrito? <laughs> yeah. No, guy. Can you quit smiling, dude? <laughs> it's so, it's so clever. Oh my god! Man. It's code word, bro. Like PizzaGate. <laughs> I know it is. I can't believe you're so shocked. I by... just never. I just wet your burrito, bro. I can't believe you're so shocked by a good She's metaphor, trying to fuck, bro. She's trying to fuck. Dude. She has children already and two dogs. She has enough She's to a deal smilf, with, dude. Yeah, but she has enough to deal with, dude. You're not even thinking about that. You're just trying to fuck this lady. Dude, oh. she's the one that wants the wet burrito. <laughs> she uh, what wants. Else we got? We got I it. king her. I think she's a beautiful lady, and best of luck to you out there. Shout out to Utah, Magna Red Carta. Iguana. Last segment, boys. Uh, king and her sting it. All right, our first one comes from Annalise Mortimer and her dog Marley from British Columbia, Canada. That's what I'm saying. Hey, Brennan. Who's you taking know, the video? Love you guys. Love uh, you. My dog Marley. What's my up? Corey, and oh, what's up, Doug? Um, we are from Canada and we love hockey up here. So we were wondering if King or Sting It like hockey. Do you guys like hockey or Canadian? Uh, thanks. Love you guys. Gang, gang. Buzz, buzz. Gang, love gang. you, girl. Buzz, buzz. Buzz, buzz. We're out on hockey, bro. You got the hockey haircut. Dude, what if, first of all, and thank you for saying that. People sometimes say mullet this, mullet that. That's dude. the Eric Lindros. Yeah, bro. Here's what I say. Your mother. 
okay? Because the deal is this. In Canada, this is a hockey haircut. In Philippines, this is a fucking, this is a fucking, you're a blonde woman. In different places, in you're Texas, different things. In Texas, it's a pedophile's haircut. Yeah, dude. But it, it depends where you're at, bro. But a top-notch pedophile, bro. No, yeah, not like a low level. Yeah, no scammers, bro. No. You know what I'm saying? Not somebody who's just hot, raising minnows in their stomach. Yeah, not a back page Craigslist. <laughs> yeah, no. No. You're talking about a champion, bro. Yes. Here's what I would love to think today is that I do like hockey and I love Canadians. And I have a feeling as America turns more into a airport for the rest of the world that a lot of Americans will become Canadians and move up there. So I hope to see you guys soon. That beautiful dog, <clears throat> Marley was the dog's name. Marley, here's the thing with hockey. Racist as fuck. In hockey, everyone encourages the white guys to fight all the time. Mm -hmm. But in the NBA, few black guys fight and they're thugs. But every goddamn night in the NHL, someone's getting knocked out. Oh, what's the name? Fucking Ola Lynchy, where the, the number one hockey player in the world just knocked out some 19-year-old. Everyone celebrated it. Yeah. Then you get in one little tiff in the NBA and they're thugs. Well, that's true, man. I have a man. problem with it, bro. Also, NHL, football on ice. Yeah. A lot of UFC fighters on ice. Is it? Oh, yeah. Very violent out there in Super NHL. violent. We just fuck with it. Yeah. Hardest I, sport in the world, dog. I'll give you that. But look, then I would like to see this then. Hockey players against black people against aliens. On ice? Yes. Oof. With a ball out there, too. Oof. On ice? <laughs> white dudes own that shit. Aliens? You don't know what they're going to fucking do, you idiot. I'm going to assume the white guys still own the You ice. think aliens are going to come all the way here and then not beat everyone? Not on ice. I don't Not know. Not on ice, That's bro. a good point, You give him too much respect. That's true, dude. I think... Oh, speaking of uh, hockey, what about this dude? Here's a picture of him. Brady Thakachik is a legend, they said, this guy. Fake-ass Rat Kings out Whoa, there. Oh, he's calling himself the Rat King? <laughs> yeah. Hey, Brady Takachik, whatever the fuck your name is. Come at us, bro. Yeah. Come at us. We own that name, dude. Well, people said he's decent. They said he, they got a brother, whatever the little one is, the little rat that plays for the... Um, Calgary. And I love Calgary, man. Best Calgary's crowds. Amazing. Some of the best comedy crowds Agree. ever. Agree. Talking about yuck yucks. But yeah, they got the uh the dude, the little guy called himself the or the you know, the younger brother or whatever. And I told him he can come get these straight up semen pinatas under my meat, brother, if you want them, you know what I'm come saying? Come get these fucking hands, man. <laughs> oh, There's only man. one rat king up in here, bro. No, I didn't say that. I said come get these nuts, daddy. Yeah, and I'm saying me? come get these hands. You heard of us saying and Calgary lost they they lost four games in a row to the Avalanche, bro. Colorado Avalanche, bro. What's yep. your fucking That's now? where you're from. Yeah, bro. Avs country, baby. Avalanche, Uh, For sure, take that shirt off. And also, <laughs> I king hockey, though. You Toughest do. Toughest sport in the world, yeah. I do, too. I king hockey, too, man. Those are tough, tough guys. Only sport uh, you can fight, and no one gets a fucking felony. That's Just true. Just beat the fuck out of each other. That's true. The Rat King's a land animal, though. Also, Wayne Gretzky. Come on, bro. Yeah, do you see his daughter? Oh, bro, you're on it today. Today I you am. You need to go to church more often. I will. <laughs> what else we got? Up next is uh, Whoa. Hannah Piercing. <laughs> Hannah DeBoost from San Diego. Hannah DeBoo. What's burrito, her name, bro? Titania? Hannah D-E-B-U-S. Hannah Montana. DeBoosie? Hey, Theo. Buzz, buzz, gang, gang. Um, my name is Hannah. I am 21 years old. Then I'm browse. originally from San Diego. But I go to school in Phoenix. I am a student nurse. My king interesting it for you guys is girls with abs. Oh my God. Do a put, what uh, did she put say? Your, put your boner away. She Phil. wants a child? I couldn't hear it for a little bit. <laughs> oh no, what is she doing? Hitting that vape. Oh, rewind that for me. That, yeah, I missed it. Say? I was looking at your boner. Yeah, when she lifted her abs, you go, oh my God. Before that, rewind wet, me wet my a decent amount, if you don't mind, Derek. My king at her sting it for you guys is girls with abs. Oh, my God. Kind of cute, too much. Let me know what you think. I think both. Mm-hmm, me too. Oh, and then she hits that vape. Oh, she's sucking it. <sighs> sucking that vape, bro. My that shit's God, so bad bro. for you. So fucking lonely. I know, dude. You just want to... Bust. No, I don't. I want to hug somebody. You want to hug her with abs? Yeah, I want to watch Dateline together with someone and be glad that we're still alive because somebody else got murdered. There's people who will be... do that for you, Theo. I don't know if she's the type, but there's What someone... do you mean, guy? She takes care of herself. Did Look you... at her apartment's clean. You know what the problem is? You're too soft for her. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're too... You're too... You think so? Yeah, you're too jello. She's do you little, really she, think that or not? Yeah, I do. She's ripped. It'd be like sleeping with a fucking panther. 
Oh, wow. You want to hug a panther, just fucking cock diesel muscle? But panthers are only violent on camera and stuff. You see them behind the scenes. They're, they're pretty s- chill. Oh, they're docile. Mm. Uh, but she seemed like a nice lady, a registered nurse, she said, oh, or I traveling nurse. nurse. No, she's an RA. Uh, yeah, I think in school to be a, a RN. registered nurse. So yeah. you know she's going to take care of you. Dude, I'll cut my leg open right here with a fucking scalpel just to get her to stop by. I'm well, that you got to go to Phoenix. Huh? Yeah, Phoenix isn't that far. Dude, I'm going to Phoenix on Friday. I'm going to pass out. Are on you really? Yeah. I'm just going to hold my breath. Dude, see get if that she comes second, along. Get that secondhand CPR for me. You feel me? Yeah, I'll tell you how it goes. What's her uh, name? Ramona? Uh, uh. Hannah. 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 I'll do yeah, a yeah, Sandlot yeah. style. Uh, uh, uh. Ugh. You're disgusting, you man. I'm, I'm sorry, about Hannah, about. on behalf of Brendan. No, don't be, girl. Me and her could talk about fucking working on shit. Talk about whatever you, you want, dude. You talk about crying at night. Yeah, talking with Brendan's really great, dude. He has a fucking word chart with like 30 words on it. And you, just show, you just show signs. Yeah. Bro. And then you call your mom to approve the signs <laughs> from homeschool. Yeah. Dude. Two rips are disturbing though. Do you know you don't want a girl more ripped than you are though? You Dude, know what I'm saying? You, you don't want calluses on her hands. She should be under arrest for disturbing the beast, bro. Because my wiener woke up when I saw this gal. What was she asking us about? Uh, Rip it, or drip? I think you look okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, she was saying she was saying uh, is girls who are too shredded. Like abs. Oh, too shredded is insane. If you're all fucking jacked, if you have a mole on your neck that's also has muscles coming out of it, get the fuck yeah, out of here. Yeah, I don't want to fuck Michael B. Jordan. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like too shredded. I don't want to hug somebody and come in second. You feel me? Word. So you got to tie. I mean, tighten up and loosen up. Just be cool. Just do what you want to do. She might just be genetically gifted, though. Some girls are just genetically fucking shredded. And it's just abs. I just don't like a girl that has, like, abs on her on her b-hole. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's just abs. Yeah, you can't be that. You can't have abs and a cock. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to pick yeah. one. Don't work out so hard you start sprouting a straight root. You feel me? Yeah. Let's hear root. more. Yeah. <laughs> uh, next up is... Shout from, out to that girl, though, right? you know? Uh, yeah, you was... pervert. We got Dude, it. Dude, you're the one that rewinded and <laughs> had a boner. Yeah, that's Can you a talk natural. To your PO officer? That's something natural that happens in your body. You're gonna talk to your therapist. Uh, up next is from Blake. This video is from Blake Presley from oh, South yeah. Knoxville, Tennessee. Look at that boat motor in the background. Did he kill so many fish? What's up, Brandon Theo? This is Blake from Knoxville, Tennessee. I think everybody should have a hobby. So I've got a king it or sting it for you: bass fishing. Now, Brandon Shaw, before you jump to that wiggle the worm joke, there's a lot more to it than that. Mm -hmm. Maybe you want to pitch that jig. Maybe you want to skip that toe. Educate him, bro. Maybe you walk that spook on them top water. Walk that spook? That's racist. You really want to get down on it. Well, so is pitch that jig. Sometimes you peg and shake that beaver. Dude, this sounds racist. That's where Theo comes from. They rip that trap down there. Gang, gang. about that outboard hitter right there. (laughs) I like this guy, bro. That guy's great, dude. He educated us on some fucking deep sea fishing, baby. He, dude, that guy will catch a second wife if on one of those things, man. That dude has some real. Yeah, catch a body in that lake. I'll tell you <laughs> that right now. He oh. knows a little too much about it. Bro, you go fishing in Florida, man. You'll come up with a large mouth deceased person, dude. They got a lot of wildlife out there. They catch some Dexter bodies in Florida. Oh, bro. that's a Dexter belt, dude, over there in Florida. You know, most episodes of First Forty Eight are filmed in Florida. Yeah, and also that's where it inspired Dexter. Yeah, yeah. So it's True obviously story. murder country, but hell yeah, man. Dexter's I'll, a documentary. Bass fishing is beautiful, man. It's a real art. You got to get out. Have you there. ever been? I have been bass fishing, man. I've been regular fishing. Have you? It's a long day. Yeah, it's a long day. If you're not good, it's just you and your buddy staring at the water. I mean, it, it ain't it ain't Instagram. It's the total opposite of Instagram. You know? Yeah, you're not gonna get satisfaction like this. Right. It's out there. It's you gotta take relax. A couple hours. You can complain. You know. Five or six hours into it, there's a you know there's a little bit of window for homosexuality if you want it. They got as everything. long as you're on the boat, you're good. They have drinking, they have everything you want out there, so you can really get out there and enjoy yourself. Sunburn, you get a year's worth of sun right there in one afternoon. I would go with him. I'd go. With I'd him go with too. a pro. He seems fun. He does seem with the fun. I was in Randy Moss Fishing Invitational one time. I was bass fishing, and I had uh diarrhea that that day. Now to get you. And I didn't know that once you got on the boat, you're out there for the entire time. So you had to hold the shits? Bro. You started chumming the, the waters? Oh, dude, at one point, I had to have them hang me off the back of the and boat. chum the water. I didn't have any choice, yeah. You had to chum the water with shit? Bro, the guy's like, I just kept saying, I have to go to the restroom. The guy's like, oh, just piss off the back of the boat, man. You know? You're like, nah, I ain't got to piss, homie. Yeah. I got to piss out my anus. Yeah. 
I got to do a thick one out of the out of you know. I gotta, Damn! So you did it, and everyone just held. I you? had to. I literally had to take off all my clothes Damn, and hang off bad. the boat. And it was a real fishing tournament. Like somebody <laughs> won like a like a sixty thousand dollars. It, it probably like, fucked all the rest of the fishers up. Oh no! There was tons of lakes. This was Minnesota out there, Lake Minnetonka, and it was. Uh, I met Roy Jones Jr. Though. That's cool. That's pretty cool. Do you have CT then or no? Uh, How many he years seemed ago? good. It's probably good? thirteen years ago. Oh yeah, he's straight. So, but uh, hell yeah, I like man, this bass guy. fishing king. king it. It. Hell yeah, boys. All right, next up, we got Drew Dawson from Topeka, Kansas. Seems Hell like a yeah. four-hour show today, huh? Like Does Game it? of Thrones 9. I don't think so. We're not that long. No? Yo, what up, Theo? What up, Brendan? Uh, my name is Drew from Topeka, Kansas. What's up, Drew? I'm a big fan of the show. Jayhawk uh, love. I got a king of the sting it Rock today shop. for y'all. First off, let me thank y'all for helping me get through my day sometimes, man. Uh, when I'm at work... I work a little factory gig, man, and I just, uh, I could set up the phone and run some King of the Sting, get fired in the kid this past weekend, Dang. and it makes hours feel like minutes. Love it, man. So I appreciate y'all for that. Uh, is this J. Cole? Is, uh, is beautiful. Anyway, my question for y'all today is polyamorous relationships. Three people Sorry. involved in a relationship together, whether that be two girls, one guy, two guys one girl depending on what state you're from it could be uh, two cousins and a nephew i don't know but could be three dudes a polyamorous relationship king or the sting yeah couldn't be also i would say put a woman in there if you're even guesstimating but you do what you got to do brendan three dudes brendan they call them two rivers three dudes <laughs> two rivers that's what it's gonna dudes. say on your freaking tune uh i just feel like it's so messy man you know anyone who's in a polyamorous relationship just doing the damn thing thriving mm -hmm. i don't yeah i mean look i think it takes a lot of communication you know back in the day they used to have polyamorous relationships hugh hefner did it yeah look at the mayflower to penta do you fuck whoever's alive on there you know so it's like anything was possible i think if do you know anyone doing it these days though like just doing the damn thing I, look, I'll tell you this. I had a guy come to my show recently, and he had two girlfriends. And that was it. And they were both cool with each other, and everybody was chill, and it was a just a loving community, you know? And I believed it with this. I think as long as there's clear communication, because sometimes it's like, what are you drawing the line against, really? You know, if somebody, if you can still love someone. But I don't fucking know, dude. I'm fucking lonely, and I'm on medication also. So get two so. girls, see how it goes, man. Be the guinea pig. Oh, I know how it'll go, man. You know, it'll go fine for Maybe a little while. Maybe get a girl and a dude the way you, you know? No. All right, I'm just spitballing ideas here, bro. You seem lonely and sad. Yeah, think of other ideas fast, you uh, weirdo. Uh, uh, two dudes. I don't know what you're into. Uh, listen, if you can pull it off, fuck yeah. If you can't... It's going to be a nightmare. The pros and cons. Pros, you're fucking two different girls all the time. So fun. Cons, you got two chicken heads harassing you all the no. time. Just drama, drama, yeah. drama, drama. Wah. Pros, cons. What happened? Where are you? Where am I? Yeah. Here's what I say, dude. And can you bust two nuts a day? <laughs> Sometimes it's tough. I can't bust I can't. two nuts a week, dude. Yeah, you older, bro. First of all, fucking anybody seems like totally outlandish these days. I'd way rather do some PlayStation or do something more entertaining. Yeah, you hate burning calories. Well, dude, I just don't want to be fucking somebody. Bang, 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 ah. Yeah. You know? Mm. Then you have to eat or get a drink or, or a milk or something. See, this dude. is why I say get a f dude. I don't want a dude. I don't want to fuck anybody, you idiot. I just said that, dude. I'm not fucking some goddess for no reason. That's stupid. Well, get a dude and play PlayStation. I would maybe do that. You should do the big brother thing. What is it? It's where you get a big brother. And he just plays PlayStation with you like once a week or some shit. You never it, heard of that? It's a black guy? Yeah, if you want. <laughs> I would do it. Get a big brother? Oh, you can do it. We'll find you a black guy. Yeah. I say king it, though, if you can handle it. I don't want some white brother, dude. I don't want Jason Williams hanging out at my house all day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you don't want Bubba Sparks hanging out at your house? I don't want fucking, yeah, I don't want Paul Wall or Bill Clinton fucking hanging out with me all day, dude. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, shout out to some legit wigs out there, but still, man. Anyway. <laughs> uh, but look, I Mr. Dawson, it, what's his name? Drew Dawson. Drew Dawson, man. Thank you very much, man. I'm glad that we were able to entertain you, dude. And uh, we do try our best when we get in here. We try, man. And I say the communication is the key. If you can just be honest about it and let them know what's going on. Because here's the thing. I think some people that are equipped to love others can really do a good job of it. You know, you might be able to, you might have the gift of being able to love two people well. Whereas some other fucking jerk off, like old fucking, you know, Cinnamon Wilson over here, fucking Michael Jackson's little, you know, lava lamp over here. <laughs> Michael Jackson's lava lamp? Well, <laughs> I'm fucking, fucking, dude, you've been in therapy since you were four, Brendan. and you can't get a fucking connection with another human being. Dude, get a fucking owl. Hang out with an owl. Oh, Do something. <laughs> Owls are fake, bro. If you look under their skirt, they don't have a lot of meat on them. All right. Um, but yeah, man, I say king it. What, were we, what was he asking I about? I say king it. Paul, yeah. I don't know anyone who's done it successful other than Hugh Hefner. I think he was miserable. Right, I think he was miserable, but his was all about the sex. I think if you can find some joy in there, too, you know, then you can figure it out better. I don't know anyone who's doing it. I think we're on the cusp of it, though, dude. Things change, you know? Things go and change. So the guy who's alone at night. Yeah, whatever, dude. <laughs> at least I don't have some son always bothering me, a two-year-old son. Yeah, it's one way to look at it. <laughs> Sorry, that's true. <laughs> Never mind, man. He's a beautiful kid. Thanks, man. Yeah. Is that, that it, bro? That, that's it today, fellas. Praise God, We, we did man. it, bro. You had the Jesus. You started with the Jesus juice and ended with the Satan juice. Yep, that's it, man. And I'm sorry. I know I was a, probably in a negative attitude today, man. I'm sorry if I was rude. Nah, it's just you in general. It could be. And true, we appreciate man. you, bro. Thanks, Medicated bro. Medicated or not, bro. Fuck Khabib, bro. That's what I'm saying, dude. You should talk shit to Khabib. And let me know how it goes for you. Oh, I'm not gonna you go seen his I'm entourage? already nervous. Yeah, dude. I bought. Oh, I hope they bully you, dude. I bought fucking HGH from his entourage, dude. At the, at I their, don't want part of the. I don't okay, want in sorry, on this. Yeah. I don't want in on that. Dagestan. Dagestan.com for uh, your. King Sting merch drops this Friday. I'm in Phoenix Friday and Saturday. Stand up live. Deal. Where you at, brother? I'm in West Palm Beach this weekend. Uh, I think there's still tickets. Uh, actually, I think it's sold out. But um, also dropping dates this week. Uh, by the end of this week, we'll be dropping some new dates for uh, Vancouver, Boise, Sacramento, a couple of different fun Ooh. places. And I will let um. Yeah, I'll let everybody know where uh, where listeners can get the tickets first. So I'm in Tampa and Cleveland too this month. All right, guys, yep. love you. Thank you, love you. Get some King and the Sting merch, and uh, and thank you guys so much for your support. Peace. Yeah. <laughs>